Hello, guys. Look at that face, Abby. You're so pretty. Yeah. That curly hair is all my mom's and mine. Look, it's come from my side. She's got two teeth now fully. Only two teeth. There's no other sign of teeth. She's turning 10 months in 10 days. Today's 29th Feb. She's turning 10 months. What are you picking from the floor? Do not do that. Do not put it in your mouth. Where's the pussy cat? Her cat. She knows her ball. She knows Froggy. She knows everything. I got my period today, so I'm like down. Just like tummy is paining, cramps, the usual. <sighs> Periods are not fun at all. I woke up with a stabbing pain in my stomach and I knew that. Yes, mama. She's learned to say mama, 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 mama. She's the cutest being ever. I mean, See her teeth, you guys. It is 4th March and I am way overdue for a vlog but I just have not been vlogging because of many many reasons. There are just too many platforms to keep a track on. I'm actually active on a lot of them now. I have my own WhatsApp channel if you guys don't know. So I have my own WhatsApp channel which you guys can join. I have threads that I'm active on now slowly. Instagram. What else am I active on? YouTube. It's just like too much to keep on, keep up with. But my vlog fam is very personal and different. So to continue, I just wanted to show you this. Look at this. Baby hair, all the postpartum hair is just coming back and it's growing. And that's why it's looking so weird now whenever I can't tie a bun. Unless I put like so much hairspray and gel. But I'm just going to the gym, so I just tied it, and there are like so many baby hair. When I tied, and I can actually see the breakage that happened during my postpartum. I didn't realize like that much happened, but a lot of it did. Having my coffee mm -mm -mm. <sighs> gives me like wakes me up more than the caffeine. It's the sweetness that I love, the sweet cold coffee. I am heading to the gym and it's just, it's it, actually it's an eventful week. There are many, many things happening. I have like an event to go to. Estee Lauder and Sabia Sachi are partnering up to launch lipsticks. I think that's what they launched. So I'm going for that launch. And then we have a couple of events tomorrow as well, which is great. I like going for very selected events. I don't do all of it now. I'm very careful as to where I spend my time and who I spend my time with because it's just crucial. I am at home with Abby if I don't need to be anywhere else. And that's just where it is. Dude, look at this baby hair. I just, look at that, look at that. Whoa. I, you know what I realized? I am not a fan of short hair. I'm just, yeah, this is the second, of, second time I did it voluntarily. I cut my hair just to feel like different. And you know what? I think long hair is just me. Miles is just long hair. When I think of myself, I think of me with long hair, which is basically what I love. I'm most comfortable with. I feel the most pretty in. And I can style long hair better than short hair. With my short hair, I really don't know what to do. Even though it's faster, I'm like, oh, this hair is not curling. It's too short. I just can't get on board with it. Anyway, those are all the useless updates uh, I have for you. I don't have much, actually. Abby's turning like one really soon in like two months. And it is guys one year remember how much i used to like blabber on but i still do there's lots of <laughs> lots to blabber about but i'm trying this new approach which i don't know if i'm gonna get around and i have i just have to it's one of those things you just have to apply like trying not to complain <laughs> it's the toughest thing for me because i'm just going through a lot when you're going through like a lot of challenges it's difficult not to complain when you're having a nice, lovely time. Remember that period of time when I was like in love and freshly married and all of that fun stuff. I had nothing to complain about. I just never complained because everything was great. And now there's like so much shit happening and all I do is like just complain. And I acknowledge that. But it's just about mindset. My brothers have been trying to like um, help me not complain and just like work around the stuff that I already have, be grateful and it is, it's difficult but I think that's the only way to get around. Alright, I'm about to go to the gym, that's your giveaway stuff, there's so much giveaways I'm doing on my Instagram, if you haven't joined me, please follow me, I'm giving away so much makeup and skincare and hair care and I'm gonna continue keeping giveaways because I get a lot of PR which I don't end up using, I'm just gonna put them in my giveaway pile. Abby is now 
firstly welcome back to my vlog it's been a long time i know you guys are missing my vlogs and mom's vlogs but we're just having a moment i'm actually uh baby proofing some parts of the house i'm trying to baby proof the corners of the table and the tv unit and stuff like that because we put abby in the walker we don't like did not get a walker we borrowed the walker from someone i still don't think walkers are a great idea at all um, we were put in walkers back in the day but i don't think like studies have shown it's not good but we just put her in for like 10 minutes in the day because my mom and i don't have help at the moment and we have to do certain things and abby is now crawling and standing properly and it's a little scary so we put her in while we get our work done you got to do what you got to do honestly there's nothing else we can do about it and it's temporary very cheap yeah it's this um amazara corner grounds i don't know i got this from amazon and they're actually sharp uh, not sharp sorry they're like soft foamy uh corner protectors like this and you just stick it to the corner and it will protect her from hurting her head abby so basically this is how it is you just take out the adhesive like the sticker and then you just stick it so i'm going to do this and stick it this is the first time i'm trying it i have no idea i'll let you guys know how long it stays but basically she is in that walker and she sort of like comes really close here and it may she may just like bang her head so when she comes on the walker her height is actually here so she might bang her head and that's why we have this protective thing here basically my whole apartment is turning upside down my center table has gone there in the corner and this is all for her um we put a chair here to block her from the kitchen instead of getting a gate so yeah in case you guys want to check it out you know if you want to baby proof the corners of your apartment you can totally get something like this i guess so yeah like this for example she comes really close over here so i'm probably going to do this and then she's not going to get hurt it's very like foamy and like very it's a good material she has become so cute i mean she was already so cute with this face look, look at this face I'm telling everyone how cute you are, my love. Say hello, hello everybody, and my pigtails. I'm so cute. You are very cute, Abby. She just hugs me and kisses me. Kissy. We always do that. Oh, she's found a way to come to the camera. Very smart. Very smart. That's why you left, Mama. Oh my pretty girl. Where's Abby? <laughs> Look at that face, you guys! I just can't. Sometimes I can't believe she's mine. <laughs> she's mine. She's always smiling and she's always happy. Touch with. <laughs> you don't show off with your smileys. <laughs> What what were we telling them? I did a big poopy today in the morning. <laughs> and and I'm just hanging out with mama. I had my breakfast. She had her oats. My mom everything's on my mom's channel actually. Her breakfast and everything if you want to see what she eats in the day. Uh the recipes are on my mother's channel because my mom makes them. Abby this is my coffee. Um and for all of you who are wondering Maz is she eating uh well and stuff she was eating well. And she doesn't have a problem eating like she's not fussy or cranky but she will just spit the food out um which is very regular and common. Abby can you pick butterfly? Abby butterfly. Pick the butterfly. Yes, very good. This one my love. This one. Actually you want to put that in your mouth. Okay. Where is the bzz bzz? Where's the honey bee? Where's the honey bee? You're right, my love. That is so correct. Okay. Where is the cat? Where is the meow meow? Where's the cat? Yes. <laughs> Where is the frog? Froggy. Miss Frog. Where's the frog? Yes, so sweet. Okay. Where is the ball? 
Yes. Where is the car, Abby? Car. Beep 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 beep. Ten on ten. Drive the car. Drive the car. Yes. 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 Beep 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 beep. Very good. So this is a bit confusing because of the wings and stuff. But then you have to, yeah, you have to keep repeating. You know, butterfly, bzz, bzz, bee. That's how we do it. And these cards uh, were gifted to us. It's from Dubai, so I can't tell you where it's from because I don't know myself. Um, Akhil picked up a bunch of gifts for her, and this was one of them. She loves it, and like I'm sure you get flashcards and stuff, which are easy, my love. This is Mama's toy. Just correct your babies if they sit like this. Okay, sit. Ah, ah. <laughs> She's saying. Ah. No. Okay, sorry. Who's the pretty girl? Who's the pretty girl? You. <laughs> Where's my Abby? Call. Hello. She is so expressive. Like her face, you sh you should just like look at her for ten minutes and. You can see a variation, lots of emotions like happy, sad, a little bit of grumpiness. <laughs> Her eyebrows are very expressive. Yeah, she just like stares at you. She has like a little bit of judgy eyes, but it's so cute. She'll analyze someone who's a stranger and just like up and down and literally make them uncomfortable. We got a walker. This is a borrowed walker for my friend's friend. So my friend's friend used it. Then she used it and then now I'm using it. Now I know how you guys feel about a walker and so do I and my mom. Actually we don't like prefer walkers at all. We have no help right now. Like help is always fluctuating and we do not have the help. When you know either of us have to do work. When my mom's in the kitchen and I'm in the bathroom. We can't just leave Abby by herself of course. Because she's crawling all over the place and my house is a dangerous place to be in because of the corners which i baby proofed recently and so we got the walker to put her in in case we have work to do so every day we'll put her in for like five five minutes through the day it's not like continuously but she resisted the walker she just did not want to sit in it i was gonna give it away and then girl she sat and she figured out how to like roll with it and now she has so much fun and she feels so free in it that she's just asking to be put in it but we just put her in for like five to ten minutes controversial in a way that mums some mums have it some mums don't it's very subjective truly genuinely i believe in mums and whoever like your caretaker is you, you guys know what the best is for your kid there is so much advice out there like do this do that don't do this sometimes i'm confused as to what is the right thing to do and i know you're looking for me now for advice as to what to do what to give your baby just literally do what makes you feel right you know feed them a banana if you feel that's right give them a pear give them like your food sometimes we give them when i'm eating egg i try and give her the egg i'm eating so don't be too overwhelmed and confused sometimes your baby will reject the food just don't force feed them they will tell you whether they're hungry or not like you will sense by the crankiness uh by the dullness you'll feel like okay it's time to give them something to eat but we don't force so try not to force your kids food and yeah just chill yeah do what makes you feel happy don't bother about other moms shaming you or other society telling you don't use this don't use that don't spend a lot of money on stuff that you don't require it's just this is the best jameen the floor is your best bet put the baby on the floor let them crawl all over i was scared earlier but now you get used to it as a parent and yeah the floor is the safest place to be if you don't want to get a walker and this and that just borrow it from someone borrow as much as you can because they will outgrow a lot of baby stuff apart from the seat the high chair and i think the high chair is a very good investment get a great high chair just like probably a car seat and a pram but other than that just relax <laughs> like you don't really need a lot of stuff i've given away too many things to know that things just happen along the way babies don't need a lot they just need you a couple of diapers and that's it they're good to go tell them you don't need a lot of stuff to buy we are happy with a pen when my mama got me really nice toys we don't want those expensive toys we want pencils and we want books 
and we want trains anything and everything that's on the floor you guys rubber band my glasses like abby does not care for actual toys <laughs> my sweetie and soft toys so she despises she does not like soft toys this is not a sketch pen don't worry it, there's no ink in it at all before you guys come for me there is no ink in this we got this from dubai so relax these are travel packs we thought abby would like it abby <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? You don't touch, okay? You don't. It's touch. okay. Take, take. Oh my God, she likes it. Oh, oh, oh! That's what she does when she refuses. So, like, these are such easy travel packs um, that you get in Dubai, and also in India, you get these small pouches, which are great for travel. If your baby accepts it, you are so lucky. Abby does not like it. We've tried several brands also. Um, it's really tasty. It's tasty. Keep trying, I guess, and they'll get used to the flavor. But we really struggle with the meal when we travel. We do struggle a lot because Abby's still on milk. She has milk like three times in a total of 24 hours, twice in the night, once in the day. She is habituated to her ragi, her oats, her dosa. So when we travel, we can't really like make dosa every single time, right? If you're in Airbnb, it makes sense because there's yeah. a kitchen and stuff. Okay, she's eating. If you like distract her a little bit, she's eating because she's playing with a pen and book. For all of you asking, what did you feed her on your travel? Like, it's so difficult to feed our babies. Fully agree. She just mostly had milk on the Dubai trip. I'll be very honest with you. We She kept her stomach full with formula. Um, she would have like blueberries one off or she would have like rice with us and very very rarely she would actually eat a full meal so don't worry if your baby's rejecting food abby did it but she was not cranky and like dull and upset and just notice these triggers milk is your best friend during travel i swear if you're breastfeeding formula whatever it is have your milk and your baby will be so happy so these are other um what do you say baby proofing material i got from amazon it's the same thing it's spongy and it's got a 3m tape so you saw i mean this is gonna look fugly i'm not i'm not gonna do this but you can like stick it to sharp edges like that and probably baby proof your stuff i'll have a link below in case you guys want to buy it it's very non-aesthetic i'll be honest like this is just not a vibe but to protect your baby's head who cares about the vibe <laughs> Uda launched a new faux filler gloss and you guys mm, it's deliciously glossy look at that it's like so glossy and like yummy i bought a new curling wand because i thought my curling wand was not travel friendly this is the one i had by iconic how do you travel with something like this this looks like a gun but like how do you travel with this so it was very inconvenient for me so i got this one by alan truman and alan truman makes really good stuff I got the hot pink wand. I didn't get it because it was pink. I got it because of the barrel. It was, it's a big barrel. And you get beachy waves with this, which is something I really wanted. And it's easy to travel, super lightweight. It was cheap. I think it was 2000 something. Um, and yeah, this gives like really nice beachy curls, man. I'm telling you. Or it just gives you like a light wave. I did it over here and it just gives that curve. I'm happy with it. I'm keeping this one. So yeah, Alan Truman, Iconic, these are great brands if you guys are looking for heating tools. By the way, Rare Beauty has finally launched their uh, bath and body product. Not bath and body, their body mist and their hand lotion and body lotion. I love, 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 love this fragrance. It is so good. It's a body and hair mist and it smells so, so like, so fresh. You know, it does, it's very mild. It's supremely mild and smells amazing they launched the hand cream which is super cute look at this oh my god and then a body lotion i mean a1 for packaging by the way this is like my dream mauve color and the lotion also is really good i actually kept this for travel i'm not using this every day because are you kidding that is such a good packaging smells so nice and so comforting hi you guys i've been trying to film for I'm gonna say three hours now and I'm unable to begin <laughs> because of this little lady that keeps coming into my studio. Hello ma'am. It's a little difficult without help. 
I can't wait. Ah. Hey. Ah. Hey. Ah. Hello. Okay, okay. Oh, everything should happen according to Abby. She's a mini mouse, guys. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I understood. Mama needs to work, but please. Mama is making her hair. Then Mama needs to work. Yes, my sweet jiggly. Play with your toys, no, Babu. There's so many toys to play with. I want Mama's toys. <laughs> to work with this munchkin with this cute little munchkin coming into my studio kiss it to mama i love you so much i love you i love you off you go thank you good morning everybody good morning hello she says good morning I'm just blow drying my hair, putting some Moroccan oil on my ends. She wants to touch those balloons, which are, it's like a PR package. But I am, I just got back from the gym. It's a Friday and I'm just getting ready for... Hello, everybody. Hello. Where's Abby? <laughs> Mama. Kishi. Thank you. It's <laughs> a Come on, it's time for her to have her lunchy. What you're having for lunchy? Where's the butterfly? Butterfly. Yeah. That's the ladybug. Let's see. Bicycle. Abby, where is the slide? Your slide. Okay. Hello, guys. Good morning. It's good afternoon. It's two o'clock. <laughs> And Abby just woke up from her nap. Abby, you took a two-hour nap. Do you know that? It's a very rare occasion for us. And you know what, guys? I know, like, shorter naps are better because they sleep better in the night, blah, blah, blah. You guys, I am... <laughs> her smile is so infectious. This is how she's all day. This is how she's all day. You're the happiest baby. She's looking at the birdies. Come, please come. Call the buddy. Come, buddy, come. Come, buddy, come. She's calling the buddy. <laughs> Abby, you're so cute. And she, she has learned so much, you guys. She's calling the buddy. Come, buddy. She just woke up. Look at her curly hair. She's got curly hair like her mama. Sing bye bye. You sing bye bye. Bye bye. Where's Abby? Yes. Okay. Who's the prettiest girl? You. <laughs> this is a new book we got today. Okay. This is Peppa's Christmas Jumper Day. It's too many words and not uh, appropriate for her age. But I just keep buying her books because I feel like it. I know I'll put her to bed reading these books someday. Soon because she's turning 10 tomorrow. Abby's your 10th birthday tomorrow. Yes. Happy birthday to you. 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 watching friends after so long i just you know i just miss ross rachel and like the gang i'm just like i i miss ross and then i just play it i was like i miss monica i'm just missing them today so i'm watching an episode by the way you guys i'm not a snacker i don't snack i was just eating a sandwich and i like to eat something crunchy with it pakka sindhi behavior papad any sort of kicha like i love 
I just got this from Food Square. This is the urban platter Jawar puffs, and it's so good. I only get salted. I don't like the paprika, peri peri masala. Like I just don't like such masala that things. But you guys, this is so like, it's just like crunch. You know, literally like no flavor, but like addictive. I'm having like this candy drop situation. Fenty Beauty launched. I can't wait to try it for you guys. Mm, there's so much fun stuff. I got a huge PR, but I also shop for Fenty whenever I go out. Oh, the mini blush. I got the shade Petal Popping. Matte Contour Sun Stick in the shade Mocha 03. I still have to try these. I haven't tried this. Their contour stick heard great things about it. Then we have the Fenty Beauty We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer. I've not tried that. How oh, cool. Should be good like my first concealer. Yeah, slightly darker. We have, of course, the foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I love their foundation. I remember using it a lot when I got it years before, years when it launched. Mmm. Brand new Fenty foundation this should be good i am 260 and spot on spot on fenty beauty diamond bomb all over diamond veil how many carrots is the shade super fine sparkle for face and body wow Ooh, look at the package it's got like diamonds all over it you guys <gasps> wow this is so pretty. It's like speckles of dust. It's like a soft veil. So you can apply this on your body, on your chest. Then we have the Fenty Beauty Mascara. This is the Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara in Cause I'm Black. Mm. Never tried. Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. I've tried two of their gloss bombs and I love it and I continue to use it. Good, thank God I don't have this color. It's a nice coral color. Look at that. So pretty. It's and then we have the Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I've been wanting to try these. Oh, that is like really velvety. It's like matte velvet color. And then we have the real the MVP. MVP. Wow. That is gorgeous then we have the fly liner in big truffle <laughs> in big trouble in big truffle i get it wow it's a brown liner you guys look at that color it's like a nice chocolate color then the last product we have is the ease drop blurring skin tint yep i definitely tried this and i like it this is in the number 13 supremely dark for me I'm stoked to be trying and I'm so grateful for the PR. Um, they're available on the cross-border store on Nika, so it's not in the Nika store. I've never tried their cross-border store, but I hear it's good and yeah, it's Fenty, dude. We, we were able to get a hands-on Fenty, which I think is awesome. And I hear the pricing is not bad. It's like, like Smashbox would be like 2,000 rupees for the foundation. I will be I will be doing a video for you guys on this just in case you're confused and you don't want to spend that much money and wait on the order you really want to know if it's worth it I'll be doing a full beauty video for you guys that's why I've kept it in this box over here guys, it's Abby's 10th birthday today happy birthday my sugar cookie Yeah. It doesn't work like that. My mom and I both are a little bit exhausted. I am just missing some time to myself. I'm freshly divorced. Like what do I do with my life? You know, this sort of gives me purpose through shuffles of emotions. I'm sure all moms are. Happy birthday to you.